Come on back a little more, Zach. Yep. guys well <laughs> I didn't take any film of this I know the concrete's dirty got to bring the power horse around and clean all that off again uh, but uh, it was go time and it's um, done so everything is done and rocked and new plants. So we used uh, hydrangeas. We used some what's called tater tots. Those little green evergreen things are called tater tots. Uh, she had some hostas in here. We just left those. Um, put some more hostas in over here that she had right here. And we just put some rock over here near her old flower beds that didn't have anything. Put a hydrangea right here. We did power wash the house, so it looks better. Power wash this side of it, y'all remember it was super dirty. We did reseed this area here where we tore up. So another hydrangea, a couple tater tots, some a uh, little rose, pink rose, some pink hydrangea. Of course, the rock is wet because I just washed all the dirt off of it. One thing about rock, you got to wash the dirt off of it. And then all right in here. So it turned out really good. She likes it. Um, of course, the rock's going to settle quite a bit. Then we did this right here on the corner with uh, a rose and another tater tot plant with another hydrangea here on the corner. So looks super good. I think she likes it we also fixed a spot out here they had a water line issue and fixed and then i tilled it up where it was kind of mounded up there and graded it seeded it strawed it so that looks good get you all kind of a distant shot here looks super good so this took about three days to do basically 12 three 12 hour days again uh, i want to thank zach klingler with zach vlogs for uh helping out with the uh rock delivery and he did help with the demo part and then he had another job to go do yesterday was when we basically finished this but i touched up a little bit today so it looks super good so hopefully this grass will come in and uh we did seed it with some good university grass seed from debure feed and seed so of course the sidewalk's a little dirty we are going to power wash those uh sometime when we got rain coming in as we speak so perfect timing looks super good although landscaping does take a little time to go back to kind of natural just from all the tracks and the, all the uh marks in the yard and the tracks but they will go away we've reseeded in here and fixed a few spots i think it looks super good she didn't want to put anything really over here so we just tucked rock in there uh, i am going to come put some uh, weed killer around the edges uh, just to kind of help with that paper stuff that was kind of hard to get underneath those Edgers, the edgers were already there. We did not put those edgers in. That's actually poured concrete with stamped in it, so it makes it look like brick. So, super cool there. Uh, and we did all this. This will all be growed up next year, so it'll look a lot different. 
Uh, now, not only did we do this landscaping job, I picked up this lawn uh, to do mowing. So uh, we did we did do a few things to help the customers out. One was trim this tree. It had so many suck, sap suckers and was low. We are going to trim a little bit of them pine trees in the back back there because uh, they're low and I can't hardly get under them or get close to them to get under them. So, yeah. Thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed. Sorry we didn't film anything, I just was in get her done mode. Didn't feel like getting the camera out. Uh, I can't get the drone out here. Uh, for one, it's too windy. For two, there's an airport right there and we've had plane after plane after plane going overhead. So, and they're super low right here. So uh, definitely don't wanna risk someone's life uh, just because I wanna get an aerial shot. Now, the best time to do this would be when the airport is shut down which is uh, like four o'clock in the evening or something, I might be able to come out here and get some aerial shots of this. Uh, I'm hoping to do it on a sunny day. I am gonna kind of get to talk to the airport and find out what their schedule is. So kind of have an idea of when plane is coming in and coming out just so I can get an aerial shot of the house. The homeowners would like an aerial shot of the new landscape. So we will be mowing this as you can see the new stripes, uh, hopefully later on. And maybe I'll get some uh, footage of me mowing. So. Thanks for watching. Thanks to the new help. Uh, his name's Nathan as well. So he uh, he helped with the uh, tear out. He helped uh, two out of the three days, basically. So I've got a, another quick little seeding job to do. We had the four-wheeler, the Kubota. We did get the tiller fixed on that. I'll have to tell you about that story later. I hit a root, tore up a couple things in the gearbox. So we're going to talk... Uh, King cutter tillers because I have had that thing apart and I can tell you basically what's inside and uh, if you ever have to replace anything how much of a pain to butt it's going to be so stay tuned for that video I need a dang haircut too so anyway thanks for watching guys see you in the next one god bless